Good morning, boys and girls. You are all welcome to Sunday school. Hope you had a lovely week. God bless you. We are about to start our Sunday school now. But before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for bringing us to Sunday school. We thank you for your protection over the week. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our teachers and our parents. Come and teach us our lesson this morning. Write your words in our hearts. Make us good boys and girls so that at the end, we will, be, we will reign with you in heaven. Thank you for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You are all welcome to primary park class. Before we go into our lesson, I want you to look up and see in the video the example of how an angel appeared unto Mary. Our lesson this morning is message from an angel. Our text is taken from St. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38, St. Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. Daniela and Covenant will help us to read some selected verses from St. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 28, verses 34 and 35. Wherever you are, I want you to open your Bible and read along with them. Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. 27. To a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. 28. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed thou art thou among women. 34. Then said Mary unto you, angel, how shall this be seeing I know not a man? 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore uh, also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Thank you, Daniela and Covenant, for that lovely reading. God bless you. Children, have any one of you seen an angel before face to face? No. None of us has ever seen an angel face to face before. Just like as we saw in the video, the example of how an angel appeared unto Mary. Mary was a young lady that had never married before. One day, as she thought she was all alone by herself, suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared unto her and said unto, unto Mary, The Lord be with you. And you were the most blessed among all women. 
Mary could not understand. She was thinking. She was shaking because she knew that God was always with her. She couldn't understand why the angel said to her that she was blessed. But the angel told her not to be afraid. He said God was very pleased with Mary and whatever she do. Oh, the angel said, Thou shalt bring forth a son. He shall be great. He will be called the son of the Most High. Mary was thinking that if God will want to send his son to the world, he will be born in a royal family. Because Mary knew that she came from a poor family. But Mary knew that the message came from God himself. And she knew that God will give her the strength to, to bear the son. And to raise him in the way of the Lord. According to what the angel had told her. But Mary believed and surrendered all her will to the will of God. Soon after that, the angel of the Lord visited Joseph in a dream. Because Joseph was thinking to put away Mary secretly. He doesn't want to do anything that will hurt Mary. As they were planning to marry, but now that Mary is carrying a baby in her womb, so Joseph could not understand that the angel of the Lord told Joseph not to be afraid that what Mary had in her womb is from the Holy Ghost that God himself will be the father of that special baby even though Mary and Joseph will be his earthly parents. Then Joseph himself being a just man believed all Sunday school. It's great to see you once again. I hope you all had a wonderful week. The title of our lesson today is It Took a Miracle and our Bible text can be found in Luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 25 and verses 57 to 56. We are only going to read selected verses. Please open your Bible and read along. God bless you. Verse 5 There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah, of the cause of Abir, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Verse 6 And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. 7 And they had no child, because that Elizabeth was barren and they were and they both were now well stricken in years. Verse 13 But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for thy prayer is heard, and the wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. We're going to verse 
24. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and he did sell five months, saying, 25. Thus hath the Lord dealt with me in the days wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men. We're going to verse 63 and 64. 63. And he asked for a writing table and wrote, saying, his name is John, and the marveled all, 64. And his mouth was opened immediately, and his tongue loosed, and his, and he spake, and praised God. Close your Bible while we we'll continue the lesson. Today's lesson marks the start of a new quarter titled, What Makes a Hero? I'm sure... It's an interesting one that you're all looking forward to. The dictionary tells us that a hero is someone that's looked up to, someone that's admired, someone that's respected for their qualities and the often are role models. But we want to look at role models and heroes from the Bible, not those in the world. For the next couple of weeks, we will be looking at different men and women heroes of faith. We're starting the quarter today by looking at the story of Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth. I hope you enjoy the lesson as you listen. We use our fingers for a lot of things throughout the day. For example, tying shoelaces. Can you imagine me trying to tie my laces but with some of my fingers and my tongue bound together and unable to move. Let's give it a go. It doesn't seem to be quite working. It's quite impossible to do. Maybe you might want to try it to see. While this is impossible to do humanly, we will be learning today through our Bible text and our lesson story of how God makes the impossible possible. Can you imagine what it must have been like to be Zachariah or to be Elizabeth? What a miracle had happened to them. Zachariah was a priest and it was his turn to go into the temple and make the sacrifices. While he was in there, an angel appeared to him the Bible lets us know that it was angel Gabriel that stands in the presence of God that appeared to Zachariah. He must have been so afraid. And he wondered, what's going on? Who is this person? And Gabriel told him, I am an angel come from the Lord. I have heard your prayer. The Lord has heard your prayer and he is going to answer you. Your wife, Elizabeth, is going to have a child. Zachariah was confused. How is this possible? I'm old, Elizabeth is old. But we know that God deals with impossibilities. As the title of our lesson says, it took a miracle. That was the only thing that could have taken for God to change this impossible situation to one that was possible. Zachariah, on hearing the prophecy from the angel, had doubt in his mind. He was confused. How can this thing be? And because of his doubt, Gabriel, the angel, told him that he would not be able to speak until the child is born. We want to learn something from this. God wants us to believe in him. It wants us to have faith in him. We're not to doubt like Zechariah did at this point. Because of his doubt, he was not able to speak. That was a consequence of his doubt. And if we're not careful as well today, when we doubt God, consequences happen as a result of it. We might be punished as a result of that doubt. 
our lesson story tells us of a girl that experienced an impossible situation. She was very young, but unfortunately, she started to feel some pain. She went to the hospital and eventually she was told by the doctors that she was going to die. How sad it must have been for her. She had the future ahead of her. She had so much that she wanted to do, but unfortunately she would not be able to live long, they told her. But she had faith in God. She was a Christian. She knew that although the doctors thought a situation was impossible, there is a God in heaven who does miracles and he sends healing to those that are sick. She ended up with a testimony. The same can be yours today. Are you sick? Do you have one problem or the other? That you think this is not going to be possible. There is no way out. This lesson brings good news to you and it brings good news to me. It reminds us that God deals with impossibilities and makes them possible. Not only in the Bible times like he did for Zechariah and Elizabeth, but also in our days today. We have so many testimonies of people that have been in situations that were thought impossible but God made a way. I am a witness, an example of such situations. There have been times when I've been very unwell. I've gone to doctors and they had all of this news that were unpleasant to say. But thank God, I am here today. That is evidence of God's power to make the impossible possible. Our key statement for today and what we want to bear in mind as we go to this lesson and even the rest of this week is that God can do anything as situations might come our way that might make us doubt and wonder, what can I do? What would happen to me? Or who can help me? I want you to remember this key statement, God can do anything. The activity for this lesson is to find the true sentences and circle the bright bulbs when you do and for the false sentences, circle the dark bulbs. Our lesson for next week is an example of obedience. The Bible text is found in Matthew chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for a time in your presence. We thank you for the primary power lesson and for your appearance to Mary. We thank you, that you for how you also appear to us today. For We thank you also for the answer lesson and for all the blessings that you've brought to us through these lessons. Please help us to trust you to make the impossible situations in our life possible. Go with us this week. Take all the glory, Father, and let the blessings be ours. For your mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. See you all next week. Have a lovely week ahead. Bye. Thank you boys and girls for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye.